Hey y'all, Clutch Duck here. Welcome to Planet Knot, an immersive adventure in planetary transformation where you play a brave explorer tasked with greening a barren landscape. Explore, discover, transform an alien planet into a lush paradise by initiating a grand project creating a new ecosystem. This game uh, looked like it could be interesting, but oddly it looked a lot like planet crafter so i thought i'd give it a try before i start though please hit that like and subscribe it's gonna help me out a lot all righty y'all let's get this thing going slap them cheeks to the chair grab a drink and let's go welcome to athena 13 planet terraforming project your primary task is to search for local flora samples, gather them, and prepare locations for greening process. Feel free to send any complaints to the local star government. Yeah, that'll probably not go well if you did. Huh. Okay, this looks oddly familiar. The little floaty guy's neat, but can I not get out of third person? Uh, no. I am stuck in third person. Really? No. All right. Yeah, and the, the the movement. Sorry for everybody watching that. It's just the sensitivity is really high, and I don't see a way to change it in the settings. So I'm pretty much stuck with this. And yes, this is definitely Planet Crafter assets. A hundred percent uh upgrade bench unfortunately there was no opportunity to equip you in advance with everything you might need for this mission but this device will help you make it yeah it's a crafting station from planet crafter um yeah uh, that's no what <sighs> really no this is all planet crafter assets like, 100% all of it. Alright. Is anything... Um... Original? That That's the question. Uh... Nope. This is the terminal of planting... Of the planting control system. It uses... Biopods in conjunction with... The transporter system to... To a remote planet to disperse the words. I know words. I have the best words. I give up. No more words. I'm done with words. All right. So let's see. Ooh. Okay. So there's a lot of that stuff close. Yes. Okay. There. 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 Yeah. These are definitely uh, things I've seen before. Looks like these are fragments of an asteroid of some kind. Sensors indicate unsafe levels of radiation. To complete the mission, we need to clear the area of such pollutants. Alright, so basically I'm a space gardener. That's all I could really call myself at the moment. And it honestly this seems like it's going to be a lot of grinding in this game that even get anything done i don't know it's just, it's just my opinion so far uh judging by how things are spaced out anyway i could be wrong but you know that's how it is with these games you gotta get you gotta give them a fair shake to see what they're about all right, more of that way. All right, I'll go back over that way, and then I'll come back that way. I'm going to try to get everything close to the ship first, and then I'll just make my way out from there, because my luck, I'll forget, and it'll be the last piece I need. And my luck, I'll forget it completely and not be able to find it and get aggravated in cluster fashion. Okay, how do I get over there? Is there a, a way? 
Is there a secret passage? Yes, there is. Hello. And you? Okay, there's base camp there. That's what I picked up and... Ooh, bunch over that way too. All right. Let's get this one. Obviously, they have their own little thing here. They're not... 100%... What's that? Uh, taking off of Planet Crafter, but... Same, same. But different. They're not not taking off of Planet Crafter. But still same. Yeah, so... What's this? This device is the most complicated terraforming technology. Thanks to it, we can now not only monitor soil connection conditions, but in this section, but also automatically adjust the characteristics to achieve the desired results. All right. So basically, those are important. It looks like I have a lot to collect in this. 12 seconds later. Oh crap, I gotta make it back to base. I'm out of, out of oxygen. Oh, I uh, didn't pay attention. Let's see if we can get back in time. Uh, nope. And here I die. Wait a minute. So, there's no consequences to me dying or running out of oxygen. So, the, unfortunately, the extreme environment is not suitable for going and beyond the complex without special equipment. Keep that in mind. Oxygen supply is limited. Once it runs out, you'll be automatically transported back to the base. The suit interface will help monitor that status. Oh, crap. So, basically, there's no consequences, and I can just keep running. Unfortunately, I'll be knocked back to the beginning, but there's no consequences to me messing up is what you're saying perfect that's perfect for me all right here's another one that sounded kind of cool actually this looks like a spot i'll easily not be able to find so let's do this put a beacon down all right there that way i can find it a little easier because i i can get lost pretty easy Ooh, we're going this way. 20 minutes later. Seems that these are remnants of first phase equipment. There's not much left of it. Okay, so basically it's space junk. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. I was so close. So close. So, basically I gotta go ahead that way. All right, back to the grind. One hour later. Oh, I finally found the clone sample. I suppose congratulations in order you discovered the first representative of the local flora. There are still many to discover ahead, but be sure this one will always remain special for you. I think you know what this, what to do with this next, so I won't only fear. Keep it up. All right. There's another one over here. I'm worried too much about this side. I need to worry about the side I'm on. Alright. We're looking for the last two pieces. And I don't know where they are. Uh, I've searched up and down north. I, I believe northwest I got most of the stuff too 
so I'm not sure where to look for this bullshit. And it ain't like it really gives you much of a hint of like an area where maybe it would have like a since they're radioactive, maybe have like a Geiger counter. You know, just you know, tick 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 and the closer you get it would pick up along with the scanner. Eventually. Ooh, found one. Oh, so disappointing. I was kind of hoping to find one like in this same area. I was, I, I've been walking the back walls of everything just to come across this stupid thing. Finally, 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 we did it. We did it. Looks like a flash fragment. Yes, uh, not the science of radiation in this area. We're heading back. Oh. So, okay, it's ready. Begin planting. And this is the plant that we got earlier. So, yeah, these are definitely rip-offs of the plant growers. Uh, <laughs> plant crafters. It's such a bad rip-off. Alright. One last thing before I go. I want to see if there's anything I can do with the upgrade. Anything in this thing. Okay, it looks like I haven't got anything unlocked to upgrade yet. Really? After doing all that, we still haven't been able to get unlock an upgrade? That's kind of ridiculous. You know, at least a little something something. Throw it at me. But I think that's where I'm going to end things today. This game, I don't think I would buy it again if I knew. If it was $10 cheaper, yes, then I would do it. But this game has a lot of grinding. And grinding in Planet Crafter is more interesting because there's more stuff to get. There's minerals around you. You can get them, pick them up. This everything's spread out so far apart that it's ridiculous to get to and look how long it took me to find those last two pieces anyways i'm gonna stop ranting and complaining i hope you enjoyed this more than i did if you want to get this rip off i mean um link will be in the description i hope y'all have a great day see you back next time Blustered up, gal.